Families of people who died while waiting on organ transplants at Memorial Hermann are speaking to Fox 26. They're now pursuing legal action against the lead physician in the program. Fox 26's Sherman DeSalle joining us live from the medical center tonight. He spoke with them and heard their stories. I'm sure they're just so frustrated. They are very frustrated, pretty sad uh, for them, uh, Rashi. So these families filed a restraining order against Dr. J. Steve Bynan, the lead physician in this transplant program, hoping to preserve whatever may prove whether or not they were wronged and wait while waiting for a transplant that never happened. I was there when he was passing, but the day before, he was so excited that he was going to live. Naima Mustachi says her father, Richard, was told to go home after becoming too sick to receive the liver transplant he waited two years for. He died December 2023. As a federal investigation begins into the irregularities of Memorial Hermann's liver transplant program, his family wonders if that impacted his chances to live. But we don't know. Tomorrow it might be your family. So we all need to be together in this. And we need to know the truth. They've partnered with medical malpractice attorneys at Hastings Law Firm, who filed a temporary restraining order against the program's lead physician, Dr. J. Steve Bynan. Some of his clients report loved ones' names would be taken off and put back on the list and moved up or down with limited information on why. The length of time and where people would be in that window and kind of bumped back out of it is very suspicious. And it was kind of, it was something I think universally set in the back of their minds. And then as these stories started to come out, it's that aha moment. The firm hopes their restraining order prevents the physician from deleting or destroying critical evidence in the investigation. It's something Daniel Rodriguez Corrales hopes is successful for his father, who died while waiting for a new liver just days after the transplant program was inactivated. They didn't reach out. I just coincidentally found about it. They didn't reach out to us at all. They just, I feel like as if they swept it under the rug and just went on with their day. I So both Memorial Herman and UT Health, that's entities or hospital systems affiliated with Dr. Biden, declined to comment on this action today. But there was also a third family we learned about. You can go to fox26houston.com and learn about that right now, plus see previous stories on this thing that's still unfolding. Reporting from the Med Center, Sherman DeSalle, Fox 26 News.